everybody always says, if you tried your best, that's all that matters. The best is all you can do. If you tried your best, it doesn't matter what happens. It doesn't matter if you lose, if you tried your best. Most people have heard that before, but there is a secret to the universe that most don't know. If you actually try your best, you can't lose. Not pretend to try your best, not try the best, not try your best 90% of the time, not try your best with excuses. If you genuinely try your best all of the time, all day, every day, it's impossible to lose. So when people say, if you tried your best, it's okay to lose, that is a logic fail. Because if you lost, you didn't try your best in the first place. If you actually try your best, it is impossible to fail in this life. God is watching and he rewards those who want it the most. If you want it the most, you can have it. It's a competition. Every dollar you want, the house you want, the car you want, other people want. You have to win. You have to want it the most and genuinely do your best because most people aren't capable of doing their best anymore. To get up every day, whether they feel like it or not, and perform regardless. What the secrets to success? There is no secret to success. I have the secret to my success. And the secret to my success is different from the secret to everyone else's success. If you take a hundred people and put them in a room, all millionaires, all of them worth 10 million plus, and I'm sitting in that room with them, and you come up to the table and say, guys, what's the secret to making money? All 100 people will give you 100 different answers as to how they made money. Which means there is no secret to success. There is no recipe to success. I know the recipe to my success. That is the secret. You cannot fail if you try your best. So if you don't have the car you want, the woman you want, the relationship you want, the friends you want, the house you want, you haven't been trying your best. Because I guarantee you the second you do, you'll have all of it. I believe there's only three reasons people are not rich. One of three reasons. They're either stupid, arrogant, or lazy. Stupid is actually the smallest category. Mm. People think, oh, you know, there's a lot of stupid people. There are, but I know a lot of stupid people with a lot of money, right? There's so much money in the world. Mm. To be too stupid to generate money, I think is less than 5% of the population. We're really? genuinely too dumb to ever make a good wage. Then you have arrogant and lazy, and these are the two most common. Lazy because people just, oh, you know, but I need time to myself. Oh, you know, but it's the evening. Or, you know, it's hyper competitive. There are people who do not need times to themselves. There are people, there's an Indian in Islamabad, or there's a guy in Islamabad who'll do your job online for $3 an hour and he doesn't sleep. Mm. You're, you're going to lose, right? So if you're going to be lazy in any regard, you have to understand there are people like me who are billionaires who work 18 hours a day. When I finish this, I get into my car, and I open my laptop, and I work on my way to my work all night to the day. I, when I go to sleep, I close my laptop and I'm asleep a minute. I work. That's all I do. Lazy is a big problem because people go, oh, but I just want to relax. If you just want to relax, that's fine. Mm. But you're competing against people who just don't want to relax and you're going to lose. And the last, and I'd say that's around, a lot of people have that element to them. A lot of people are lazy. That's about 50% of people. But the main reason people are not rich is because they're arrogant. So I was 17. I was working at a fast food restaurant making sandwiches. Now the internet didn't really exist as such but looking back on it it was part of my journey and i regret nothing because i ended up where i am so would i even go back and tell myself anything is the question if i had to um it would be to to not burn so much of my time let's talk to the 17 year olds who are listening you know do you do you finish your job come home play video games etc that's what i used to do when i was 17 a little bit what i didn't do is come home and think okay fuck Let's, let's work on something new. Let's try and build something. Let's start a, a, a YouTube channel. Let's start creating content instead of consuming content. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd tell myself to be a bit, little bit more proactive with my free time and not fuck around so much. Stand yourself in front of the mirror if you are that person. Imagine yourself 30 years old. Imagine yourself fat, out of shape, bags under your eyes, wrinkles on your skin, gray hair. Imagine that man exactly where you are today. And if you don't like it, do something to change it because it's complacency that damages people. And that's a mix of brainwashing and programming and, uh, you know, your personality. It's a mix of lots of things. But I think growing up really impoverished and looking around at the other adults, you know, who are still in... I was, when I was 16, 17 years old working at McDonald's, I was working with people who were in their 40s and 50s doing exactly the same job as me. And I thought, whoa, this is fucked. I'm going to have to do something. If you were to take somebody who says, I'm doing my best, I'm really trying, and you were to get uh, an exact schedule of their last week mm -hmm. and find all the times they've wasted time, You'd say, look, you've wasted time, wasted time, wasted time, wasted time. You know what's actually amazing? Most of those people are not even self-reflective enough to go, you're right, I'm not trying my best. Mm -hmm. You know what they'd say? 
Well, I have to rest sometimes. Mm. Well, I well I have to have a social life. Well, I, they'd be so arrogant because mm. they're arrogant. I had to do my Facebook. Yeah, yeah. No matter, you'd even show them. Here's where you fucked up. Mm. Well, you know, I have to. Do, oh, you're crazy. Mm. And then they go back to being a loser. A lazy person thinks he's working too hard, and a successful person thinks he isn't working hard enough. Mm. And we're doing twenty times the work they are. And mm. we're like, oh, I could have done more. Could have done this. Oh, I missed that today. Can't mm. miss that again. Oh, I should have taken that call. I should have flown there. I should have. That's you know, we have guilt about it. They don't mm. give a solitary fuck. Mm. And even if you pointed it out to them, they'd sit there and go, oh yeah, and they'd make some excuse for it. It's it's the brutal arrogance of people. Why are you on this podcast asking me how to stop procrastinating? Turn off YouTube. Go do something. What's wrong with people? This is exactly what you were talking about, about asking a question where you already know the answer to. You know the answer is to stop doing things that waste your time and apply yourself to something important. Now, this may not be a waste of your time, but let me tell you, you're a dumbass, clearly. It's like Googling how to get fit, like you just said. Everyone knows what a push-up is. Do 10,000 of them a day. Stop wasting your fucking time. You know, I've never had to deal with procrastination. I've never had to deal with not being motivated because what is the alternative? Literally, be a loser forever. Perhaps 50, 60 years ago, you could be a normal man with a normal job, have a normal life and a normal wife and a normal house and a normal car and be happy. But the world we are now living in is proving that being a normal man is nothing more than slavery. Being a normal law-abiding citizen with a normal income and a normal wage and one passport and a normal wife is going to leave you depressed. Sooner or later, she's going to leave you and you're going to end up fucking suicidal and miserable. This is what I don't understand about people, especially men in the world today. Why are they say, so worried about being afraid? Why are they so worried about, I was afraid every time I fought. Yeah. I fought anyway. Yeah. Like, I don't let fear guide what I'm gonna do. I do what I'm supposed to do regardless of how I feel. So I don't see anything wrong with feeling fearful. I don't see anything wrong with feeling stressed or under pressure or anxious. All these things men are trying to get rid of. And I talk about men specifically. I gender this because I'm a man. I don't know how it feels to be a woman. But all these things that people are trying very hard to get rid of from their brains, I don't see why they need to leave. I will argue the point that if I feel anxious and pressured and stressed and fearful, I will get more done than if I was happy. I think if I was happy, I'd just be hedonistic and just wasting my time. I think that you get a whole bunch done with these negative connotations and negative emotions. And I think that life is suffering and pain and you're here to go through it. And, you're, and the sooner you get used to the taste, the more successful you're going to be. I have no interest in trying to change the flavor, my friend. The flavor of life is pain, and I will eat all of it. And it doesn't matter if they put me back in jail or not. I, I'm not sitting there going, how can I be happy in jail? I will sit in jail and say, yes, this sucks. It's supposed to suck. Yes, I'm not enjoying this. Yes, I'm anxious and paranoid. And yes, that guy might stab me. And yes, I can't sleep. And I miss my family. And this is what's supposed to happen to me. And this is how I become the best man I could possibly be. And I'm going to succeed regardless. The things you desire don't come very freely to dorks. I, I would like to think that every single young man watching would love to have a beautiful woman. They would, wouldn't they? Beautiful women, beautiful women don't like dorks. They really don't. So look at the things you want from life and look at who you are as a person and think, how can I positively change myself to get the things that I want from life? And I think you're naturally going to come out of your dork state just from doing that. I have no ritual or anything that I actually recommend to, uh, to men. With younger men, especially the guys who aren't physical yet and they don't have the size and they don't have the money to go to the gym and they don't have the time to do the training. Obviously, Andrew sells his, his fitness training program, which is all well and good, but a good example I always used when I was younger mm -hmm. was do push-ups during TV commercials. Yeah. Push-ups during TV commercials was my yeah. life hack. When I was young, I was broke. You know, I, obviously I got to this this size. Mm -hmm. I'm no bodybuilder, but I'm a, a very big guy. I'm about 240 pounds. Yeah. Um, Watching TV is a very wasteful exercise. Every yeah, time, absolutely. Every time yeah. the commercial comes on, do 50 push-ups. If you can't, do 25. Do 10 every time the commercial comes yeah, on. Yeah, something. Yeah, by the time the, the day's over, you've done 150 push-ups. You know, your arms feel pumped up, your, your pecs feel pumped up. For you to become rich and successful is going to require pain and suffering. And you have to understand exactly what your dream life is to make the pain and suffering worthwhile. Think about it. Have you ever been to the gym and seen a person in fantastic physical condition they're strong, they're ripped, they're large. And you say to them, how did you get so big and strong? And they say, I don't know. Oops, it kind of just happened. Or have you ever found a really rich man or a very successful man and said, how did you become rich and successful? And he goes, I don't know, bro. I just woke up one day and it kind of happened and now I'm living my dream life. No, there is a very detailed plan and roadmap. For you to become strong, you must eat a certain way. You must train a certain way. For you to become rich, you must earn money a certain way. You must understand exactly how you're going to make money, whether you're going to be a public-facing figure like me or a man of the shadows with millions of dollars, unknown, but extremely powerful. You have to design your dream life. Welcome to the free world. That makes me happy. 
I want all of you to win. I'm not a hater. I'm not out here hoping I get to win and you lose. If you lose, you deserve to lose because you didn't take action. If you take action, you will win.